In the frozen prairies of South Dakota, a small, dedicated team is making a difference. Tough men, braving the elements, putting their skills and tenacity on the front line for conservation. Guns and equipment are prepared for the operation. Pilots and biologists work together. Yeah, let's go to that one. The A26. A26. Yeah, we'll head there, and then if we have to, then we'll work back there. Correct, yeah. Okay. Sounds like a great plan. Well, they've refueled, they've swapped over gunners because the guys get so cold that they have to swap over and they'll go and see if they can get another couple of white tails now. Collars are fitted, biopsy data gathered, and measurements recorded. Well, we're going to just change the areas and see if we can find some more white tail in a different area. Around 1,200 deer are collared in this program. So now we're just taking all of the measurements that we need from this animal. He's tied up, he's got a hood on just so that it minimizes the stress on him. So this collar is a collar that's gonna be used not just to track this deer, but also to record mortalities. You know, this really is extreme conservation in extreme conditions, but without people prepared to do this, we'd be very limited to what we can learn about these animals and very limited to how we can conserve them. White tails of bear are probably our most pursued big game species in the state. Uh, they're the most abundant and most readily available. Would it also be true to say they also generate the most revenue for the state? Uh, deer hunting is a, is a big economic boon uh, to the state. We sell licenses and charge fees for a reason.